Hi, my name is Andre Nexer, I'm the executive chef, and today we're going to do a vegetarian fish dish for you. Most of the ingredients, or a lot of the ingredients, will be uh, immune system boost, especially for the time that we are in. Um, but first of all, I want to send a shout out to Stefani Kraus, sponsoring me this jacket, uh, the handmade. So yeah, um, I think there's only five or six of them in South Africa, so if you want to be part of the elite chef jacket, before we stunning stuff like this, let me know and I'll hook you up. Okay, so guys, what we have today is you're going to need some oats, sour cream, some cheese, some feta cheese, some nuts, any kind of nuts. I've got peanuts, you can use Waldorf nuts, etc. Mushrooms, peppers, onions, sweet potato, tomato, obviously your hate Philip, which is the main ingredient. Some syrup, butter, crust barley, some mixed spice, and then obviously some spinach. You can use fresh spinach or you can use the frozen one. I use the frozen one. It's just uh, more convenient for making a dish or two dishes. And then obviously you're going to need the stunning knives like I do have. Okay. Okay, so guys, what you need to do is first take the skin off. It's very easy. As you can see, keep it frozen. Take this a little slice there and pull. The fish has to be de they call it de-skinny, so it looks like this. Every breath you take and every move you make. Every bond you break, every step you take, I'll be watching you. Every single day, and every word you say, every game you play, every night. So guys, what you do is you cut the peppers in julians. That is exactly the same as cutting in strips. As you can see, there we go. Perfectly. One, two, three, four. Oops. Make sure that you cut your onions always in thin slices, it's a lot better, it's quicker to cook as well. Thin slices is always best.
now we come to the best part of the meal, the sweet potato. Ensure that you cut the sweet potato in centimeter thick round offs. As you can see in the video here, I make sure all of them are the same size. Don't over cut it too thick or don't cut it too thin. Place your sweet potatoes in the oven that's a preheated oven of 180 degrees. Then you can let it go, ensure that it cooks softly. So now you have the frying pan on the stove on a high heat and then I take a heap of flora butter. I love flora, it's always better than anything else. Put it in your frying pan, then you take some Robinson turmeric. Uh, anyone can afford Robinson so it, the best is always good add that to your butter to give it that yellow color and also that nice flavor
So now we're done. Add another heap of butter, flora butter, to your pan in the same pan. Use the same pan that you've been using before. And then you take that nice egg fillets and fry it in the pan. As you can see, I'm adding more turmeric to just give that color. Pan fry that on both sides till golden, golden brown. Every move you make, every bond you break, every step you take, I'll be watching you. Every single day, and every word you say, every game you play, every night you stay, I'll be watching you. Okay guys, so now we get to the plating part. I normally take about four to five pieces of sweet potato, center, put them in the center of the plate, as you can see, just to make it a nice height and give it a new, a beautiful look. We take that nice golden piece of hake, fill it, put it in the center of the plate on top of the sweet potato. That just looks divine. That nice fried peppers, onions and mushrooms just, just garnish on the side. As you can see, the colors are just blending in on that plate. It looks amazing. If you have someone that eats a lot, obviously put some more of that because healthy is always better. So all the, the nuts that you've chopped previously, I used 
thinner, uh, you can use Waldorf nuts, any kind of nuts. That's just so you can build, you know, boost your immune system. So put as much of that as possible on there. Then after that, you take your thin, your feta cheese, and then crumble it nicely over the egg fillet. See, the more feta, the better. You have to have a bit of naughty on the plate as well. Those thin sliced tomatoes, you put three of them. I normally put three of them because it's the same portion as the hake fillet. Put that on nicely. And then obviously we cover the tomatoes with original cheddar cheese. If you don't have the original cheddar cheese, buy the fake one. But, you know, original is always better. After putting that beautiful cheese on over the tomatoes, I take one scoop of sour cream, put it in the center, and voila. Now, before we carry on, you will see later on that I put the spinach that we've cooked on the sides, on the left-hand side, on the right-hand side of those, of the fish. So as you can see I did another plate, there's the spinach going on, I put it on both sides of the sour cream just to give it a bit of different flavours on your palates. Enjoy guys, enjoy. So guys like and subscribe for more unique dishes.